Now, if you've purchased a Roku 2 or a Roku 3, you might have noticed that once in a while your Roku will freeze. Uh, if you have a Roku 2, unfortunately, a huge batch of those tend to freeze just because they overheat. This usually happens in a YouTube stream or a Hulu Plus movie. So, the solution is pretty simple if you don't mind destroying the case of your Roku. And by destroy, I just mean poking some holes for ventilation. Since most people place their Rokus in cabinets or places where other people can't see them, it shouldn't be a problem. So all you need to do is peel off the rubber foot on the bottom of the Roku. It just peels right off with your fingernail. And then you'll find four screw holes and they'll be Torx T6 screws and you can pick those screw, uh, screwdrivers up anywhere at Lowe's or even at Walmart. You can find them online for cheap. You can find the whole set for about three or four dollars on Amazon. And once you get that case open, you can pull out the PCB board, the logic board. Uh, it lifts right out. And then you can use anything from a drill to a Dremel uh, to just brute force and just punch holes all over that thing. I put holes in the sides, the top and the bottom and if you want to you can sand it down just so you don't have any bumps and then you can put it all back together this takes about 10 minutes and you have passive cooling and you'll notice a huge difference if you had a device like mine where it froze every hour when you have a youtube stream you'll notice that it doesn't freeze anymore and if you want active cooling you can buy an 80 millimeter uh, usb powered pc fan case uh, just place it anywhere on the top or bottom and you'll notice that the airflow coming out is pretty significant even for a slower rpm silent fan and i'll show you a demo here you can see that the fan is turning it'll power through that usb port on the side of the roku so you don't need an external power source you just need your roku device and this is how you fix a freezing or crashing roku device if it's susceptible to overheating this applies to both the Roku 2, all the models, and the Roku 3.